Very nice, thank you so much, Minister. It's a pleasure speaking. We uh, really enjoyed this. Uh, I guess the first message is, is that Phil is an international actor. He's been very impressed on the energy, the imagination, the creativity, and uh, as somebody who watches news and current events, uh, India is hot. India is, is rocking. Uh, you can see it. It's, 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 uh, it's moving. And so uh, we're actually, my wife uh, who is going to be sad that she's not here because she loves India. And uh, she's a pretty good Bollywood dancer, too. <laughs> I have family, so we've got 10 minutes. But the reason he's here, there is no agenda. He's here because he loves our country, India. Yeah. And I quickly want to introduce the fact that uh, uh, my relationship with him is very interesting. 15 odd years ago, he tried to make a movie in India and uh, that didn't happen. But at that, that time, he became a friend. But before that, he was an inspiration for me. Uh, but from being an inspiration to becoming a friend and then becoming an unconditional family. So it means a lot. And I'm in your territory. <laughs> Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. It's very kind. And I mentioned earlier we wanted to go to Goa. Yeah, that's part of the schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do is we'll work hard for mounting the race in the monsoon. And then, and if he agrees to come in November, then maybe all of us can. So, November is very good climate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> November is in very good climate in India. You, got, you can enjoy our climate. Yeah. Yes. He's told me that he's partied very hard last night. Uh, they have to do something. We're leaving, <laughs> we're leaving today, so uh, last night was our, our last night. And, uh, and two busy days. Uh, it was nice and warm, doing a lot of promotion uh, for the festival. But I hope everybody has a, a lovely time. It's a, it's a great festival. It's a, it's a lot of fun. There's really nothing like it uh, in the world, and I, I hope it's prosperous and fun for, uh, for everybody. This one uh, thing, which is uh, the minister and uh, memorable moment, because is that at all? Uh, I just feel that massive, big, fun movie one more time. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. In India. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's a good project. You're really excited about it, uh, and I'm taking a year off now. A little no. break, but I'm doing well. So, <laughs> sometime, you know, and uh, um, so but I will we'll plan and hopefully maybe in a year we can play figure out how to, how to do this. So we'll prepare it in the year while you're holiday. Okay. And then we'll just bring you in when it's all hot. Okay. And just one question, the last trip to India, and we spent one day in Mumbai. What was the one memory that just stuck with about Mumbai? Well, Shalindra was so kind and he said, you know, I'm going to make a little memory of your trip in, in Mumbai. And that little that little video became a full length film and his his hospitality was off the charts. He really was a little very grateful. So we actually have a nice little film we made with Shalindra, myself and Catherine on our one day in uh, one day we spent together in Mumbai. Yeah, I'm, I'm and glad in Mumbai. Yeah. So what was the moment in the movie? Which moment? You mean when we're dancing at your house? That is <laughs> uh, it was, it was dancing on Kala Chashma. Yeah, you, and you had, what was the dance group that you had? Shamak, you spoke to him. But yeah. the moment, I'll tell you the moment, because he's forgetting. It was when Catherine danced to uh, Om, Sh Om Shanti Om song, and he was filming her on, on your phone. Yeah. And that was yeah. super cool. That was really cool. That was very, very cool. Just seeing her dance with the whole team. And she uh, our Indian festival is a very big festival. You know our Indian culture, Indian tradition, and uh, Indian diversity, and different language peoples, and different food culture. So we will bring together in Goa, and uh, our Indian cinema now is going ahead. And uh, even regional movies, and our Indian regional movies, it comes to the to. Hollywood level and world level, world level. and uh, you know that uh, our, we are focusing on the content. Our content this year, uh, Indian uh, movie, the Elephant Whisperers, uh, they got uh, Oscar award. Right. It's in uh, 
stories for a um, forest story and some uh, two elephants, how they brought up the elephants. So, yeah, yeah, so this uh, is from India. So we are uh, very proud of that moment and I'm very happy to you are here uh, to such a man, uh, such a big man here. <laughs> Built all over the world. I love the fact that different languages and different cultures and we all understand how to make movies together. Certainly India is one of the leading, leading makers of all films in, in the world. So it's, it's a joy, it's one of the pleasures that I have traveling around the world uh, and working with different film crews all over. Uh, Shalini referred to a, uh, a project that we hoped to have done while racing the monsoon uh, years ago. It's, it still may be alive and hopefully we can, uh, we can do it. We had issues when we had to, when we wanted to shoot, which was not uh, during the monsoon season, uh, we needed a train. And the trains, of course, are very popular for the tourists and all of that uh, during the time. So we had to figure out the logistics. We had a, I've been to India now three times. Uh, if we can find a project uh, to do together, and I would look forward to coming back. To That's the cue. <laughs> I'm taking the cue. So, <laughs> just for the uh, record, uh, Michael flew down 15, 17 years ago to make uh, the Trico for Jewel of the Nile, Romancing the Stone, the big successes, and the Trico was, was to be shot in India, which was racing the monsoon. And that didn't happen, but this friendship happened. Uh, today, we've got the minister. We've got uh, Mr. Kumar here, and, uh, uh, and he just said it. So if you all put it together, and they have the blessings of the government, we'll not only get the train, but they'll also make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> the Indian International Film Festival in Goa, every year, it's been going on for 54 years now, and I think they want to just uh, share something with you about it. I'm very happy to, you're here. Uh, so particularly in our uh, Indian pavilion. So I am welcome to you to this pavilion on behalf of uh, our ministry and our NFDC. Uh, NFD so we are aware that uh, you, you have a very, very big fan followers throughout the world and particularly in India, you have, the people have craze on you. So your movies like uh, Wall Street and uh, Trophy, this Wall Street and all, uh, very hit movie in India. Go to the world and India. <laughs> also. So, I, once again, I convey my best wishes to you. And apart from this, uh, every year we are conducting our International Film Festival at Goa. Uh, what are the dates? Yeah, it's a fixed date, November 20th, from November 20th to November 28th. Which month? November. November. Okay. So, uh, this uh, coming year, uh, this is the 54th edition. So I am welcoming you. I must expect your visit and your presence. So with, your no, with this entire family, the whole yes, family. Yes, the entire family. Family. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's very good. And we're hoping to get over, we're actually planning another trip. We haven't been down south. So we wanted to go down south from Hyderabad to go up. Area on our, our next trip, but I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful festival. I had a lovely honor of receiving a a, a, a palm door, a gold palm door for a lifetime achievement uh, the day before. It was it was very touching. Uh, I've been coming to this. Uh, I've been coming to this festival now for forty plus years. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I had a lot of experiences. And I love situations just like that where you get to meet people, people who love film and uh, people who, who, who want to make movies. So occasion because uh, I just wanted Michael to uh, say a few words about his Indian experience because I believe that cinema has no boundaries, no language, no caste, no culture. Cinema told from the soul will be understood, heard, and watched by anybody on the planet. And I do believe somewhere that uh, Mr. Michael Douglas is just not an actor. There's something about him which is magical, enough for the entire planet to be proud of him and his works. So just a few words for Michael about our country and our cinema, if he's seen a bit.